when you have company, if you just really want them to feel special, serve them chili just about eight to 12 minutes after it's been piping hot with a towel just cradling it underneath. Body language will instantly reflect just true appreciation. Doesn't matter what it tastes like. Okay, well, it kind of matters, but just not at that moment because all the good psychological switches just have been flipped on at this point without even tasting it. The idea here is it's about the performance, the presentation. You want when your audience looks at it, there's an immediate feeling of wanting to get up and go put on their oversized sweater. You know, the fuzzy one with the finger holes in the sleeves. Cozy is yet an understatement for this dish. Just levels upon levels of hearty with various sources of like strong plant protein, all the while decorated and seasoned with spices that would make Santa Claus jealous. If you hear faint beeping and or it sounds like thunder in the video, there's um, some construction going on out behind the house. It's been there all day, so you know, it's been, it's been great. Starting off with the spices, we're gonna take control of this sort of like we did last week with the curry. Try your best to refrain from purchasing a pumpkin pie spice. It's because of two reasons. One, you may already have the spices because they're all pretty much pantry staples. Two, you want the ability to direct traffic. You can simply, you know, turn up the ginger in it if you want. You could even select one to turn down, you know, maybe the allspice. I have the ingredients on the screen. Mix that up and toss it into an empty spice container. Then you can save yourself some money by making your own Starbucks spice latte. If you take nothing away today, make sure you take this. Spice control is the father of all recipes. And homogenation, which isn't a word, but it should be, at least I don't think it is, is the mother. Basically, how you bring all of it together. The tofu in this recipe, I found you can be successful two different ways. If you're using a super firm or an extra firm tofu, you're good to just toss that in right in the very beginning, sort of like I did. If you're choosing to use something in the medium class of tofu, I would skip the first step where the tofu goes in, continue through the recipe, and within the last 15 to 20 minutes of cooking, I'll toss it in then. This is a recipe that I would recommend you try to press out all of the water out of the tofu. Or possibly when you toss the tofu in to cook, try to get the water out through evaporation as much as possible. If you want the recipe to be soy free, you can swap out the soy sauce for coconut aminos. As for the tofu, you can also swap that out. I like a three bean combination. I usually go with kidney beans, black beans, and pinto beans. If you're a home cook and you tend to forget to sharpen your knife every once in a while, like myself, a butternut squash will not so subtly remind you. Whatever you do, try your best to keep all of your squash uniform in size. Because in the recipe, your squash is who you're going to register with when it's time to check if your meal is ready. And different size cubes are going to cook at different rates. Therefore, each cube won't necessarily be speaking the same language when it's time for checking. You'll prick one and it will say I'm ready and you'll prick another and it will say, I need more time boss. I'm sure you noticed there is a chipotle pepper hanging out in this chili. Because of that, I slice mines in half because I have kiddos, but this is kind of one of those unspoken great things about hot sauce. You know, just instantly spice things up with a few flicks of the wrist. I've realized what's great to me about chili is very much a mouthfeel. Like, don't get me wrong, the taste has to be there. It needs to be very deep, very potent, but the collection of different textures is definitely part of the grading scale when it comes to rating the chili satisfaction. This recipe is listed in the description or you can head right on over to the website listed here to check out this recipe. If you're looking for an additional cozy meal to go ahead and add to the menu, check out last week's video. Also, I have an extreme amount of 
love and gratitude and appreciation just jumbled up in this area for you on the support you have given me on this channel, but also on the apparel line that was launched last week, which by the way is also linked in the description. Till next time, believe in good. Peace.